Hey dreamers, I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I got four stocks that you probably need to keep your eye on this week in order to kind of like make some money inside the stock market. Four trades that you guys need to keep your eye on because the stock market is kind of high right now. All the prices are kind of high. So it's not the best time to go in and be throwing in a, a, a large amount of money when the market is near all time highs, but we can make some extra income through trading. Now, the last time I dropped the video like this, I gave you guys three trades and we took two of them inside the Discord and boy, oh boy, did we make some profit. Hold on, let me show you. All right, here we are inside the Discord. I believe I gave three divergent plays and we only took two of them. Right here, we took Southwest Airlines, sticking to my FUV. The RSI was going down, the price was going up and we took it when the price broke. And then when the price broke, and then was waiting for the price to break on that one. And then we also took one on ticket symbol CLX Clorox right here, was waiting for price to break below this downtrend line because the RSI was going down. So we took two trades right there. And immediately the same day, ticket symbol LUV went up from 23% all the way up to 40%. And then Clorox, we got out on with a minus 20%. So they put our profits to around a positive 20% gain. But then LUV actually went up even more to 60%. So now we're back to 40% profit. And this was the LUV play right here. It dropped below just like how we predicted it. It was going to play out. And then Clorox gave us another look that we was actually in on. I said, hey, we're getting back in on the Clorox play. And then this was the Clorox play right here. It dropped down. We got in on that. We seen that trade. And then we had a 400% gain in a day. So that put us back at profit of 145%. So, so guys, we was two for two. The third play did not actually set up that had posted inside that video. We're not always going to take every play if it doesn't meet our standards. So we actually killed those two plays. And then inside of our Discord, our Pro Trader tab over here, we got we got Chuck Fu over here killing it. This guy has been posting some amazing trades. He's up 105%, up 80%. Another play on PepsiCo, he's up 300%. So guys, and these are the plays that they post inside the Discord every single day. So guys, I'm gonna give you four plays in this video. Make sure you watch it all the way through the end. Hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future plays. If you guys do wanna be a part of the Discord, click the link down in the description. That's to my Patreon. The Patreon that takes you to my Discord. I post all of my option trades in there every time I buy and sell a stock. And we have three pro day traders in there that post that option trades every single day. So if you guys wanna be a part of a community of traders that wanna be financially free, just like you and you don't want to miss out on these trades and education guys click that link in the description to patreon sign up also if you guys want to receive some free stocks deposit hundred dollars inside moomoo receive your free stocks and you guys can get started trading today i think they have up to 15 free stocks if you sign up with moomoo but yeah enough talking guys let's go ahead and dive straight into this video all right dreamers here we are on training view the first ticker symbol we're going to be looking at is ticker symbol spy it's the s&p 500 on the one hour chart because i know a lot of you guys work and you have time to look at the charts every single minute of the day with the one hour chart you could put in a trade it, sit back let it ride over a couple of days and you'll be just fine but if you're day trading you have to literally look at that every single candle of the hour <laughs> and it can it could swing at any time so here is ticker symbol spy and as you guys can see i have a, a bearish divergence on this the price of spy was the rsi was way up here i have a bearish divergence on the rsi in the price movement of spy right here we draw we drew out because spy had hit one of the highs on the RSI. So we put a little ticket right here and then it continued to trend up all the way through this point right here. And then on the RSI is actually trending down. So right here on the RSI is around the 50, but the all time, but the high was on the 73 and the SPY was at the 562 price. And then it shot all the way up to around the 569 price point, 570 price point. So this was the resistant line that we that we drew out a while back. In fact, I drew this play a very long time ago. In fact, I drew it out right when this started. I said it's probably going to go up and get rejected by this line. It did not get rejected by this line, but it did go up. And then it came right back down. Like I said, we're going to come back down to this area. This was the time to buy. Buy, 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 buy. I told everyone, everyone that. And then I said it was going to eventually take off and break through this line. And it actually did. But it did have some trouble breaking through this area right here of the price point 563. And it had a hard time breaking above it right here at 563 as well. So if SPY continued to trend up right here and break through this line and continue to trend up we will wait for a retest and then spy could continue to take off and we might miss out on that trade no problem at that we have stocks 
in the market that we're going to benefit from because we have so many shares inside the market already. Now, if SPY do continue to trend down and break below this line right here, break below this support line, because now the old resistance line is the new support line. If it breaks below this line right here of around $563, we can enter the trade and have a very short stop loss of around halfway in between, depending on where we're going to enter that at. So if you guys do want to know when we enter that trade, follow me on Patreon. Now, the second one we're going to be looking at is ticker symbol AMZN, Amazon. Now, Amazon is the same thing. We're looking at a bearish divergence. As you guys can see, is a clear bearish divergence. The only thing about Amazon is that it's making higher lows. It went up, made a low, went up, made a higher low, went up, made a higher low. Now, if Amazon starts off the day above this, then the play might become non-existence. But if you do want to be a little bit more risky, you can see that the RSI is clearly trending down. It is trending down, showing like a bearish divergence. You can enter here. You can enter here. If it doesn't open above this, you can enter here, have a very short stop loss, maybe a 5% stop loss, maybe a 10% stop loss. And you can ride it all the way back down to here because it's been it's been showing that it's go to the top of the channel, go to the bottom of the channel, go to the top of the channel, go to the bottom of the channel, top of the channel, bottom of the channel. Right now it's at the top of the channel. So you can play it down to the bottom of the channel, but that's not a, enough risk to reward ratio. So if you could enter here and believe that it's eventually going to show that the bearish divergence is going to play out, you could, re, you could break it all the way back down to this area right here. You can break it all the way back down to right there. And then that should give us a good risk to reward ratio let's say if we enter so if we was to enter right here no that's short so if we if we was to enter right here we have a very short stop loss there it goes and then we'll play it all the way to here that is a four percent that is a four to one risk to reward ratio. But if we was to wait for it to break below, but if we was to wait for it to break below, let's say it broke below right here, then we have a 1.5, we have a 1.7 to one ratio, which is it's almost a 2% ratio. Depending, we can add more to our position as it breaks down, but that is ticker symbol M. It is showing a bearish divergence. The next one we're going to take a look at is 3M. Now, 3M is also showing a bearish divergence. Is the RSI is trending down. The price point is kind of trending up. Not really, but the reason I put this one on the chart this week is because it's showing a very strong resistant line right here. It had a hard time breaking above 130 $134, $135. And then it came right here, had a hard time breaking and staying above $135. Once again, right here, had a hard time breaking above $135. And once again, we're back at this price point, having a hard time breaking above $135. So what we can do, we can set a very short stop loss. We can enter anywhere we, around here. And then the, you, see, you see these two wicks right here. Let me scoot it over. See these two wicks right here? We're going to set the stop loss just above those two weeks and then we could play it all the way back down to the bottom of this channel right here and that gives us another 4.6 risk to reward a four to one risk to reward so let's say so with a four to for the with a 4.6 risk to reward on the other two all we have to do is win one trade that's the awesome thing about having a, a awesome risk to reward if we win one trade out of four this week we end up in the profit right we'll end up in the profit so you always want to look for a strong risk to reward and 3m right now is showing a bearish divergence it's kind of trending up but the rsi is trending down so we want to go in and we don't necessarily have to enter early we can also draw this point out right here we could draw that out right here and wait for 3m to break below this uptrend line and then we could enter and play take some take profits down this trend line right there that we drew out a couple weeks ago and then the last one that we're going to look at is is DraftKings dkng once again same thing guys reverse divergence it has a strong resistance line of around 39 dollars and 50 cents it's been trending up over the last couple of days the rsi has been trending down over the last couple of days on this one i necessarily wouldn't enter at the top of the channel this one just be patient you know you don't have to take as much risk on all of them we'll wait for DraftKings to fall below this uptrend line and then play it all the way down to the 200 ema so that is the trades that we'll be looking at this upcoming week.
So yeah, guys, that is the four trades. On some of them, if we just win one out of four, have a very good risk to reward ratio, we would end up in profit. If we go two for four, <laughs> we made a lot of money. If we go three for four, hey, we rolling in money. If we go four for four, just guys, join the Patreon. That link is gonna be down in the description. And don't miss out learning how to trade. Also, on our $100 Moomoo challenge, on our first trade, we made like 26%. And then on our second trade, it was very small. We made like a three or 4%. So we're already up 29 to 30% um, on the Moomoo challenge with just $100. We're getting ready to deposit our next $100 next month. So now we'll be up to $200 deposited. And we're gonna trade that money. This is an aggressive portfolio. We're trading in there. We're, we're doing some, some calls and some puts. So we're trading in there, trying to grow our portfolio exponentially. So if you guys want to be a part of that challenge, that link is going to be down in the description. Let me know down in the comment section, which one of these trade setups is your, looks the best to you. Say, Hey, that setup do look pretty good. You, I might go ahead and take that. That setup look pretty good and say, Hey, nah, that setup didn't look not too right because you know, because you know, a lot of you guys are out there are actually way smarter than I am. You've been doing it a lot longer than I am. And just so happen to be watching my video and I love to hear you guys opinion on that. But if you do see any other setups inside the market, go ahead and drop down inside the comment section. Say, hey, say, hey, the monthly chart is saying this. If the monthly chart going to do that, oh, hey, the five minute chart is showing this. So you guys look at different time frames and have different indicators do I have. So if you're using different indicators that's showing that the market is definitely going to do this. Make sure you drop that down in the comment section. If you do want to know how to trade, the link to my Patreon is going to be down in the pin comment section and also inside the description. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.